Try doing that by hand? At the very least, for a job like that, you'd want a drill press. A decent drill press is what, 150 bucks? No need to buy that tool when you've got one of these machines. How about kerfing? You know, making a bunch of cuts so you can make your plywood or MDF bendable? I did a poll. Most of you have never tried it, and a non-trivial number of the ones that have are willing to admit that it's a pain in the ass. But something like kerfing is ideal for a CNC machine because you can precisely dial in the depth and the spacing then let the machine do what machines do. Repeat the same thing over and over again, flawlessly every time. These speakers right here were built using StackFab. I'll be sure to give you a link to the video. Traditional StackFab requires using things like these templates to construct shapes and then copying those shapes with the router. On the CNC, you just set it and forget it. How about some custom touches like logos and artwork? With the CNC machine, you just copy and paste the image. If you're doing any lettering or carving a logo, this V-bit that I showed you earlier is the perfect tool. The machine will adjust the height of the bit on the fly to get the lettering just right. Right here is one of my favorite bits. This right here is called a diamond drag bit. As the name implies, it has a diamond bit. It's also spring-loaded. You can use this to engrave plastics and soft metals. This one bit in the CNC machine completely negates the need for a laser engraver. And guess what? The CNC can cut soft metals in plastic. So if you've got a CNC machine, there's really no need for a laser. That's gonna save you anywhere from 500 to $15,000, depending on the laser you're looking at. All right, I moved outside to illustrate point number three. You should buy a CNC machine because CNC machines are safer. Pretty much everything in the workshop is trying to cut off your fingers, hurl projectiles at you, destroy your hearing, poison you, or clog your lungs with sawdust. Nothing about this hobby should be considered safe. Your goal is to make it safer. 